Hello, everyone, and welcome to Local Chat. It is episode 73. I am joined by one Chris Elliott and Hi, absolutely no death. one else. Sorry, I did a pause like you were going to talk, and then I decided to keep talking. It was honestly a faux pas on my part. Chris Elliott's here. I will let you speak now. Uh, Ian Gibson's dead. Long live Will Crosby. <laughs> yes. Ian Gibson messaged me six minutes ago. No, he messaged me like two hours ago. <laughs> Three say, hours wait, ago that he, that he couldn't make it. And I messaged everyone. Um, and if you're listening to this and you're saying, I didn't message you, uh, why didn't you message me? <laughs> why didn't you know? Why didn't you know? Um, folks, we're here to talk about video games. We're here to talk about all sorts of delicious things. We're not here. Actually, I've been steaming about this all week. We're talking about soup? Oh, soup. That looks good. What kind of soup? Uh, yo, like, like. Basically, gyoza and broth soup. Oh, that sounds delicious. It's like a super cheap recipe that I got off a place called Mob Kitchen. It's like you make it in like 10 minutes, which is like from some frozen gyoza, you eat it in a pot, some spicy stuff, and oh, it's banger. I'll, I'll, I'll link it to you. <laughs> yeah, link it to me. So, uh, send it Pinterest. Pin it on my Pinterest. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Uh, if you don't mind, TikTok it to me. Uh, that sounds really good. Uh, there's a Chinese place near mm. us that, first of all, delivers within 15 minutes. That's and hot. second of all, has an, a fantastic wonton soup. Um, I actually like to order the wonton, wonton and the egg drop and then mix them. Yeah, yeah, now you're getting somewhere. Yeah. There's uh, an uh, Indian place right on the corner from us that does deliver and it's super fast. So I can walk over and get it. And I can get it in three minutes, legitimately. Uh, it sucks. <laughs> <laughs> they, it's all like, none of it's spicy. It's oh. fucking Indian food. I, I need to, so there's... I, I, I don't know what type of food it I I want to say it's like Middle Eastern Persian Turkish food. The guy the it's called Albasha and the guy on the bag has one of those fezes on mm-hmm. like from Ooh, the mummy. So it doesn't, yeah, so it could be a lot of places. Yeah. You're talking like so, per, pretty fall the Ottoman Empire. But it's like shawarma and stuff, but it's not like quite Middle Eastern all the way. Anyways, they have delicious delicious pita. Best pita I've ever had. They have hummus. Do you like hummus? I love hummus. They have hummus that is as creamy as peanut butter. Damn. And like as smooth as peanut butter. And uh, we, you can go there and just buy one of those pint containers for like 11 bucks or something like that. And it's so, it's not, it's not as like shelf long as like hummus at like Costco or whatever. But it is so delicious um not to mention their garlic paste and like hot sauce and chicken and stuff is really good as well but um yeah that hummus it's fantastic i like anytime like new people are coming to visit i'm like do you like this type of food because we are ordering it if you (laughs) if you do and we're still gonna order it if you don't i'll just get (laughs) something else on the side for you Um, i'll I'll, I'll just be in the bathroom eating hummus (laughs) yeah (laughs) just looking at don't come um, in here. Yeah, don't come in here. I'm, I'm wiping. Um, uh, anyways, that's enough about local foods, uh, folks. We got to talk about video games, but we got to talk about what we've been playing. Uh, Chris, I'm gonna let you go first because you are playing things. Well, you're playing two things that sound really exciting, and you're also playing another thing that is probably even more exciting. Okay, good. I was about to say, what should you say about not for broadcast? <laughs> Uh, yeah, let's talk about Alpha Broadcast. Uh, we played this on stream over on the Save Data Folk. Uh, Zach hadn't wanted to play this for a long ass time. So the gimmick of the game is you are a technical director for a news station in, like, made-up fake England that is going through, like, so political England. strife. Yes, made-up fake England, real England, same thing. But neither are real, even the one that says real and the same. Um, and, like, it's basically just, like, you get to dictate, like, how the news goes Like, you get the option to choose between, like, show the good photo of someone or the bad photo of someone. Um, And also, but also, like, it challenges you, like, you have to, like, you have to, like, you know, you got to cut to the action because, duh, it's, you know, a video game. Um, But also, like, it does stuff like it it gives you rules like you you, don't stand a shot for more than 10 seconds, like always show reaction shots, you have to bleep stuff, stuff like that, which obviously, as you and I get this, is not how, like, modern technical directing works. But for a video game, that's totally fine. Um and it's just like it's a really fucking cool game to be like let's take a 
job that a lot of people like are vaguely familiar with the like that it exists, but have no idea how it actually works. Mm -hmm. And let's just use that as like a a uh, container for what is like a like a thirty hour FMV experience. The whole game is FMV. Yes. All the actors are amazing. <laughs> Like they're really they got their fucking working boots on, and like the thing it, it bridges from like drama to slapstick to parody. There are like several musical numbers. Dang. Yeah, and and, and they, they they they'll they'll be like, oh, we have a guest on the show today, and it's always like some garbage. Like we're making fun of some musician kind of thing, <laughs> and it's like it's like cut to the beat, asshole. Um, I, I just wanted to mention it because I you would really enjoy this game knowing like your love of British comedy and the fact that it is uh, an FMV game and like you know you're like me and we work in the production field so it's it's nice to see like a not 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 a fully understanding of what we do but a, <laughs> but a fun a fun look at it a decent representation yeah, yeah yeah um was that game in early access for a bit it was it was for a long okay. time. Because uh, it only officially came out like January. Gotcha. Because I remember Giant Bomb playing it like two years ago, maybe. They and I remember being chapters. like, I want to play that. And then obviously this little hot thing called the pandemic happened. And um, they had to delay filming for about eight months. Oh, oh, right. I didn't even consider yeah. that. Like regular game they development. can work you, from home. Yeah. Yeah. And they, they do a joke episode that that's all like shot from home. But like it's like a joke mini bonus episode. It's not like a okay, not a regular thing. I gotta check that out. Okay, so so the whole thing's out now. The whole thing's out now. We played it to completion. There's like I believe there's like three big endings. There's like some joke endings in there as well. Um, I'm gonna play through it again, like on my own time to get a different ending. We we got through the one. We got the one that I would definitely have wanted to get regularly. So I'll just do one of the ones for funsies. Nice. That's awesome. Tell me about uh, your rising. Yeah, V Rising. So this is from Stunlock Studios. They made Battle Right before this. Probably the only thing you would know by them, um, which is a MOBA that doesn't have any of the farming or the item building or anything like that. It's just it's a MOBA in the literal sense that you go into a ringed arena and it's like th three people on your th side, three on the other side, and you fight and you win like rounds, kind of like a like a CS:GO or a Valorant. And it's like first to like five rounds, or whatever the fuck wins. That game's great fucking love it it did come out in the height of battle royales though so uh Oof. It, it got a rough shaft yeah Oof. um and they were like hey let's make another one and this time it's gonna be vampires uh the rising is a vampire game you are you are the vampire uh you open you go into a huge open world uh and <laughs> you collect resources and kill folk and drain blood and build your cool vampire castle and your like vampire army and shit like that. And you fight like swarms of dudes and it's kind of rad as fuck. It's a, it's like, it's like, I don't want to make this comparison. Everyone keeps making it, but it's like Valheim. Ugh. If you were a vampire and it's top down and there's things to do. Hey, how dare you say that about Valheim? Well, so Valheim has like what? Five bosses in it. Yeah, I think so. This game has about like 60. Okay, but they're probably not as cool as Valheim's. Uh, about as cool. I'd say a little bit cooler than Valheim's because they each have like individual gimmicks and like you can you know do combat that isn't just walk up and hit. Is the music as good as Valheim's? Mm, I honestly don't remember how good the music was. I'm gonna say now. Valheim's is incredible. I Valheim's call sucks. it fantasy jazz. Ooh, elevator music for a fantastical world. Uh, that sounds cool. I, I've been meaning to check it out. People at work keep talking about it. Um, it's like, it's popping off on Twitch and stuff like that. Yeah, like I always it was know beating, when a game it was beating Fortnite the other day. Whoa! Yeah. I always know a game's doing well when our guides department is like pumping out guides for it. Mm. Um, which was the case for Elden Ring for like three months, and they still put stuff out for it. Um. So I do want to check that out. That that sounds the only thing that holds me back from it is I think Jason mentioned this last week is like I'm not a huge fan of the isometric Diablo ARPG unless oh. it's Diablo. This game is very Diablo. Yeah, so we kind of like I haven't tried it yet, but most Diablo likes I play, I just think to myself I'd rather be playing Diablo. Mm -hmm. Um which is the case with most Diablo likes. You're like Yeah. You usually only play them because you're kind of done with Diablo, or that's kind of like different Path of enough. Exile or stuff. Yeah. yeah, like like um, 
what what you calls it? What's the name of that game where you are turn based, not Baldur's Gate, but the one that is by the Baldur's Gate three people? Oh, Divinity Original Sin. Yes, like Divinity Original Sin is different because it's not an ARPG, but it's still isometric, like yeah. side. It's a, it's a it's a CRPG. Yes, yeah, one of those computer role playing yeah. games. A, 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 game, a term that makes no sense anymore. <laughs> oh, I love this computer. Um, yeah, so I, I want to check it out because it might do enough different where I'm like kind of excited by it. But yeah, that if there's something about that view, like something. Sometimes it really works, and sometimes it bothers the heck out of me. Yeah, um, uh, and and this one like. The thing that I keep forgetting about it, which makes it a lot better, is that you can it's not isometric in the sense like you, you can rotate the camera. OK, which like I every time I do it, I'm like, oh, yeah, fuck, that is helpful. And then I forget about it. <laughs> I um, it's like um, I think it was banished. I remember playing and I realized you could rotate the camera and then I had like a mini panic attack that I would never get the camera back to the same position again. <laughs> like I'll never view my town oh, the same way again. <laughs> you got to have like a look north button or something yeah. like that. But I think it did have that, but I just remember in those types of games I'm like, "Oh no." That's why I was like like Roller Coaster Tycoon where it's just the four directions. I bought that game in a sale banished like when it came out, never played it. Have not opened the game. Oh, it's I I followed it before it came out because it was a one developer type deal and then it came out i played the heck out of it and it's it's a pretty much perfect game um it's just not made to like play forever and that's what Mm. people want and honestly the mod community for it uh took that mantle up because the guy just started a different game uh and they've made it like crazy uh the amount of stuff you can do in it now Uh, like i was looking up like where to start with this i forget what it's called there's this huge mod pack for it and people are like don't look up guides for it because you're just going to confuse yourself because you can spend hours starting on one thing and then 60 hours later not even touch half of the content in it and i'm like okay maybe i don't want to play this mod pack that's um, huge just too much content yeah people are it's like with rim world i i stay away from content uh mods because like a lot of people like that stuff but I at this point I haven't experienced everything that's in RimWorld and I don't want to like cloud my brain with it, you know. You got that RuneScape mod? Oh, RuneScape. I have RuneLight on my computer. I downloaded no, no, it. There, the there's day. a huge RuneScape RimWorld mod. Oh, is there a Oh, I didn't yeah, I thought it gives you were like all, like me. No, 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 like all the skills from RuneScape, it like converts the skills in the game to those. Oh. Um, like all like the weapons and armor stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, that's a, that's that's a thing that exists. Oh, I got to check that out. Um, no, I, right now I just have like, I have some AI mods. I have the wall light, which is really great. Um, I've been trying not to get back into rim world, but I might get back into rim world. <laughs> Ian will love that. Uh, if I talk about rim world every week again, uh, it's just his favorite thing. Call it the, the factorial principle. <laughs> hey, factorial is good. Um, tell me about old school runescape. You're still playing it. Old school runescape. Playing it right now, maybe. What um, percentage? I knew you were playing it right now. Of course what percentage of your work day do you play old school runescape? So when I am not too busy, a hundred. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just do something AFK on my second monitor, and like I'm fucking around After Effects, whatever. Uh, currently, my video department team has this many people on it. Nice. Uh, the second person that isn't me started uh, 16 days ago. Nice. So I'm doing fucking everything. Right now. <laughs> um, and yeah, so I have no time during the day. So not 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 often. Um, like uh, if I'm like, like sometimes I'll do like an AFK thing. Sometimes I'll, do, I'll have it while I'm up, like doing lunch. But like typically speaking, no, I'm just sitting here dying. But I'm going to get back to that 100% when I'm working from home, Willie. Yeah, I I've I've dipped a lot on uh PC games mostly because I spend 8 or 9 hours here a day at this computer. Yeah. Yep. And then when Ian's going to roll his eyes when he's listening to this cuz I talk about it every week. Uh so I've been trying to play more console games and that's the other reason like I don't want to get into like RimWorld and stuff cuz I'm just going to sit in this chair and I'm going to destroy my back and my butt and uh cuz it's a chair that damages my body no it's not on on tuesday i sat here all day i had a deadline that i had to hit 
So I woke I woke up early. I started working at eight a.m. I just started working at nine. Uh, I worked all the way till like six thirty p.m. Uh, got the thing out. Uh, like and then it was like okay, Vic's like all right, time to stream. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, fuck okay so then we we streamed we hit affiliate off the stream which is dope um and uh we ended the stream and i was like okay i gotta go fucking lay down went to lay down woke up sat back down on my desk started working again <laughs> so like it was just like I, I didn't do anything that wasn't in front of this desk for a solid like i don't know fucking 24 hours it felt like Jeez, that's wild yeah i um it's nice working from home but there's also a lot of drawbacks, uh, yeah. like associating everything with work. Um, like, I think if I had a job I didn't like, I would hate working from home. But I unfortunately en- enjoy my job to like some uh, kind of asshole. Yeah, like some kind of asshole. Um, so it, it's kind of fun. But uh, yeah, it, it also gets so hot in this room. Anyways, I'm done talking about that. Old school RuneScape. Old You're school having RuneScape. fun playing yeah. that. Um, I So the reason I added this and didn't just say, oh, I'm playing it more, uh, is I made a new account. Oh uh, I, made, I, I made a skiller. So what that means is I don't touch any of the combat in the game. I can't I can't level up any of the combat stats, which means like I can't use magic to teleport around and shit like that. So you got to you got to you got to play the game, Willie, oh. without 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 doing any of the punching and the kicking. Are you turning into some sort of freak like Jason where he just plays the same like six games his entire life and does Iron Man and 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 changes the rules and Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know I how mean, you guys do that. Not actually. Like the, the the only reason I like RuneScape so much is that it is a second screen experience. Is something yeah. I can do while I am doing something else. The amount of like shit I get to watch while playing RuneScape is ah, oh, it's low. It's a yeah, perfect I, podcast game. I um, a lot of like, a lot of my editing stuff for work. I don't need to hear things until like I do the VO and music part. Yeah. So like I'll watch a lot of TV. Uh, I watch a lot of He Man. Um, and, but I haven't really like taken it to the video. Like I downloaded rune light literally. Cause I was like, Oh, Chris plays that while he works. Like, I wonder if I can do that. And I, I downloaded that maybe two months ago and I haven't booted, mm-hmm. booted it up yet because I, I'm like, just been busy enough where I haven't like gotten into it, but I could see me having that instead of like quickly putting up a, a show or something. Yeah playing that but i've so if much... i'm in after effects because usually if I'm, I'm just making motion graphic i'm not hearing anything like i'll like oh, full-on yeah. shows movies a podcast whatever the fuck yeah if i'm like rotoscoping or something yeah. i'll put on like uh music or something but um anyways i guess we should continue talking this is the problem with having only two people on the show is you end up just, just turns into talking it. about shit yeah it's just a conversation <laughs> especially people who've known each other for a while yeah well, um, four years now, Jesus yeah Christ. oh god kill me um uh under the will category here that is me it oh, says yeah. i have been playing hell let loose which is true talk uh, about this game please it's so excited. good it's a very good game i apologize that you're in that hell let loose group on discord and we call it Muted all the time fuck, my man Muted okay fuck. good <laughs> i i was like i feel like i'm bothering people every time i call a group um it's super fun uh my brother zach the og uh, has really taken up the mantle of squad leader, which is great because n- none of us want to be squad leader because you're kind of stuck doing a lot of things. I can't because when we're streaming, I don't want everyone else's, all the other squad leaders chat to constantly be piped out to Twitch because A, it's annoying and B, there could be bad swears in there. You never yeah. know. Um, but yeah, this game's really good. For people who don't know, World War II shooter, squad-based. So there's the squad leader who has their squad. The squad can hear each other in their squad. They can also hear the squad leader. And then the squad leader can talk to all the other squad leaders and the commander. So there's like a chain of command there. Um, basically, the squad leader uh, will give you your objectives and stuff you're trying to do. It's all made up. None of it's pre-planned. So the commander will tell, like, my brother, hey, we need someone to stay back and defend this location while we try to take the next point. So my brother will be like, hey, guys, we're going to stay here and defend, blah, 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 blah. And then we'll ping and find enemies. Um, we had an incredible match on Tuesday. We did not stream on Tuesday out of respect of the horrible uh, stuff that happened in Texas. It didn't feel right streaming a shooter that night. Uh, so we didn't stream. We did end up playing together. Uh, still, which was nice because it was a lot looser. Uh, usually on stream, it's like, uh, not like we're like saying slurs and stuff, but it's like 
when I'm on stream, I'm on camera and I'm like so conscious of it all the time. So yeah. when, when, and we play like most nights anyways, um, it was really fun. Uh, we played on the server that was really good. The match was really stuck over one point the entire time. Uh, and we ended up winning. I normally get four or five kills per match. Um, I got 17 kills that match. Something about the uh, M1 Grand, um, I hear Ian saying, well, it's, auto it's semi-automatic. It's not, all the Germans have bolt action, which the Americans mm. have the semi-automatics. Uh, it wasn't necessarily that, but I have a habit of when I'm aiming down sights in a shooter, I don't look down the sights, I look around, um, mm. which is a big yeah. issue. So I've started forcing myself to look down the sight and turn with the sight. Um, and the M1 Grand has a big circle sight, so it's a lot easier to do that with. Um, and the other thing we've learned through playing and especially Zach and I, since we're brothers and we tend to have the same like issues with, with shooters, which is not being able to hit anything is we take a breath and like you wait to line up the shot instead of seeing someone and just starting to shoot or seeing someone and they're too far away and you're shooting at them anyways. Um, so it's been a lot of learning experience. This game's really taught me how to be better at a shooter, which is weird to say. Uh, Cause it's not like call of duty where you're just like, have a little bit of that auto aim in your close quarters. Like a lot of this stuff is far reaching. Um, there's a lot of tactical stuff in it. And the other thing I like is it, the onus isn't necessarily on me for tactics. I'm just a soldier, like yeah, the yeah, commander yeah. and uh, the squad leader are giving me the tactics. And if I don't agree with them, I could be an asshole and go on a one man mission and shit like that. But I, I should stay with my squad and stick with them because uh, we're trying to get garrisons up to get people back into the points. We're trying to get outposts up, all that sort of stuff, supply trucks, artillery. Um, it really all comes together in this game, uh, and it's a really fun fun experience. So I highly recommend it to anyone uh, who's looking to get into like a squad-based shooter. Um, it's very fun. Voice chat's fun. People are, are gen generally pretty nice. Uh, we've only come across a couple people who seemed legitimate in their hatred of either other sexes or races uh oh, no. and we try to get away from those people um but yeah most of the people are just trying to play a game and have a good time uh regardless of their opinions on things um it's have super you and fun those uh rescue sub pixel boys played foxhole no i that's the other sort of World War II shooter. I think so. it might be World War One. I. I actually don't remember now that I'm thinking about it. Um, but so the whole thing is it's top down, like you're rising once again. But right. um, and uh, it's like, it, it, like the scope of it is huge. Like it is a full on war that is going on. Um, I, I was curious if you guys played that because I feel like you would really enjoy it. And uh, I've I've wanted to get back into it. I I played it like when I first bought it. And I was like, this is a really cool game, and then never again. Um. I want to try that. I this whole thing started because I watched 1917. And I was like, oh, I was like, this movie's great. McDuck. I was like, I love this movie. It's great. Yes, parts of it don't necessarily either make sense or or uh, or you could hate it because you're Ian. Um, but I was like, man, I just want to play like a shooter. I don't know. He hates everything Bro, except Shin Godzilla. Um, <laughs> well. Yeah, well then, if that's your uh, your your caliber, <laughs> yeah, they're a committee. Um, so I like I was like I need a war game, and so I started looking up. Uh, there's a couple. There's two World War One war games, and the older one is the more popular one, even though there's a more recent one. But the older one is more trench warfare, and the more recent one is like no man's land warfare. Uh, mm. if you can like sort of separate it that way. Uh, I think the other difference is one of them is like objective based and the other is uh, like wave, like wave defense attack based. Um, so I was thinking of going towards one of those and then I really don't remember who said Hell Let Loose. It was on sale or something and I was trying to get Zach to play and he's like, ah, it's 30 bucks or whatever. And I said, listen, you buy it. If we don't stream it more than like three times, we'll I'll pay you for it. Um, just because it's like it's easy to get him to play things when I just purchase it for him. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um. Because it's always like a, that's the problem, and I understand that. I play video games for a living. Like it's easy to buy games for me. Um. 
so it worked out. I mean, we've streamed probably 10 or 12 hours of it. Uh, and we played maybe, I have like 30 hours in it. That's um, a good amount. Yeah, it's just fun. It's fun to jump into. It's fun to have a group of friends to play it with. Um, I don't. I keep talking about it. It's really good. I should stop talking about it, but it's just so good. Um, I saw you send me this foxhole thing. I'm gonna watch that afterwards. Yeah, um, just, just jump around a minute. Jump around because I uh, own that one, so I'll play that one. On <laughs> I'll sale. play that one. Hey, it's on. It might be on sale. Um, the only other game I have been playing this week, I played a tiny bit of Hard Space Shipbreaker. Ian's been playing the hell out of it. Um, I know he'll want to talk about it next week, so I. I I uh, I haven't played it enough, and I'm kind of glad he's not here because it gives me more time to play it for next week. Yeah. Uh, and then Sniper Elite Five came out today. It's on Game Pass. I s- played Sniper Elite Four last summer. I don't remember. I flew through it. Uh, it was so much played? fun. Uh, it's the only one I played. I uh, well, wow. I own I own V two. I played um, V two, and I played three, and I played. I played four. I actually remember. I played V2 a little bit. I've played all of the Zombie Army trilogy games. Haven't played any of those. Uh, which are, are Zombie Army games, which are their games as well. Uh, so that was my way into it. Um, this game's great. I'm on the first mission. I just turned my Xbox off. I don't know if I actually saved and quit or I had to leave or anything. I was just... Costco Pizza was here and I wanted to eat. Um, it seems to be more Hitman-ish. Uh, I, I went to a location and like... I did a thing and it said unlock starting location. So I wonder if it's more of a come back to this map and do other objectives whenever you want sort of thing. Or like they've always had that where you could come in and get more documents and things, but I don't think they had starting locations before. Uh, I may be wrong though. I like Sniper Elite. Um, yeah, it's fun. I haven't played enough of it to really form a huge Can opinion Can you on shoot it. Nazis in the balls? I have not tried to shoot them in the balls yet because I was trying to play properly. Which is exploding their heads uh, or their hearts, but I have seen I footage of the testicles exploding, uh, so I will I will make sure to do that. Um, the game's hard. Like you see screen, sh- you see videos of it, and you're like, you just shoot people from far away. But you shoot, uh, and then it says like enemies alerted because your yeah. gunshots are heard. There's ranges on your gunshots. Um, you have Ball to hide drop. bodies, all that sort of stuff. So. It's really fun. the The story and all that sort of stuff is is a little meh. It's always been a little meh. I think it's more about the shooting and the killing and all that sort of stuff. It's usually just about shooting Nazis. Yeah. The other thing is, I'm only reporting on this. I have not discovered it in game, but supposedly there's some a little bit of uh, sympathizing with the enemy uh, in it, as far as you can choose to pacify enemies instead of just outright killing them. And also you get details on the people as you look at them. And some people were saying the details were sort of seem to be a little sympathetic towards, towards the enemies, which I get there's world war two. People went to fight for an army and might not have necessarily understood what they were fighting for, but also it's a fictional war game. I don't think we need to somewhat, I don't think that's the realm in your crazy testicle sniping game. I don't think that's the world that you try to convey the nuances of being drafted into an army on the wrong side. Um, Yeah. Like I, I mean, if like a couple of characters, when I get the good details are like that, that's fine. But most of them should be evil Nazis that I could just murder. Right. Yeah. Like, obviously, we're, the world's not black and white, but I don't need the gray morality in my yeah. shooty testicle game. Yeah. Um, but I haven't encountered that. I just saw a couple of headlines, so I figured I would bring it up. Um, so I'll let you know when I start sympathizing a lot more, <laughs> and uh, I'll bring you the names of all the people I didn't shoot uh, Ooh, for next week. Well, Crosby's <laughs> list. Yeah. <laughs> there was Hans. And Gertrude and Adolf. It's, it's the scene at the end, but instead of taking off your watch, you're taking off your headphones, and you're like, I could have done more. <laughs> I could have saved them. Oh, Jesus. Um, okay, uh, that was the games we've been talking about, which means it's time to move to the games that the news is about, which means I get to play the news theme. It's not the new one. Uh, it's just the regular news theme that Zach sung the first time. <laughs> Here's 
the news. We're talking about news. It's gaming news. What's up, news? Victorio. Uh, <laughs> Zach, if you're listening to this and you're not because you're a dick. Uh, it's okay. I don't watch any of your streams anyways. Um, <laughs> currently just re- re-record that. Well, he could listen to the podcast. He should subscribe to the podcast feed on Spotify. If anyone from Save Data would, it'd be David. But after David, it would be Zach. Yeah. This show is honestly <clears throat> only so Ian and I can talk about the games we've been playing. Uh, it That's has fine. nothing else. Uh, folks, there's a lot of news to talk about. Um, so we're going to get to it. Uh, first of all, I named the episode after this, which was stupid. Um, because who cares about EA? I, if EA gets bought, I don't give a shit. If EA merges, now we're talking. That's something that's interesting because that's going to end terribly. And I'm very (laughs) excited. Um, yeah, supposedly EA was looking to sell or merge. There was a deal with NBC universal, which is that one's wild. cool. Wild. Um, I can't wait ap- for the young Rock Titanfall crossover. <laughs> oh, young Sheldon. Um, no, the CBS. Sorry. Um, Bazinga. Bazinga. Uh, Bazinga says BT. I want the office on my FIFA in Battlefield. Jim Halpert in the Battlefield. Ooh. Oh, that'd be great. Michael Scott. <laughs> the new, the new, the new villain in um, the new Star Wars game is Jim Halpert. It's Dwight. <laughs> it's Dwight. It's Battlestar Galactica. Um, yeah, they were fielding talks with uh, NBC uh, Universal, and apparently they fell apart last week. Um, yeah, EA. Apparently they're looking to merge or sell. I, I just don't. I don't. I don't know. What does EA even do anymore? They make shitty games. Battlefield, Jedi Fallen Order. Oh, God, I've been Apex. playing that too. I hate that game. It's That's terrible. It. I forgot about Apex. I forget Respawn's part of them. Someone else buy Apex. Respawn. <laughs> Apex is currently the second most popular game in the world. I don't know. It's just like EA. You forget man. about it constantly. It's great. Yeah. Um, is there any is there any company that could buy or merge them that would make you excited? Excited? I mean Microsoft because it would be cool to just have everything on Game Pass, Game Pass. even though it is already all on Game Pass with EA. Yeah, but you have to anyways. have the ultimate bullshit. Yeah, which I have, but um no no one exciting like i i would be i would probably be the most excited if ea crumbled and there was a bidding war for all the ips and freaking embracer groups like <laughs> <laughs> embracer groups like gimme 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 and tencent um yeah i, really I like comment. i think that would be the best outcome um because i really don't care but i can't even think of anyone who would buy like i feel like anyone could buy ea because like NBC Universal would never be on that list ever, because I wouldn't think about it. But now I think yeah, about it, it's yeah, like, yeah. What, uh, like Nabisco is gonna buy EA and make ooh football Oreos uh, and <laughs> Battlefield Oreos. Frito Lay buys EA. <laughs> yeah, Frito EA. Frito yay. Um, so uh, I, that'd be pretty cool. But I, uh, I the one that makes me opposite of excited. I'm like, oh please, I have Disney. Yeah, Disney. They, they already let them make Star Wars. They could just be like, ah, yoink. That's a drop in the hat for Disney, no matter how much it costs. That's true. Disney has too much, anyways. But the thing is, they don't need it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, but when when has that stopped them before? That's true. It's like you got to weigh like how much money would Disney spend making a Battlefield or anything type game. I mean, including Star Wars versus how much would they spend to buy EA to make it for them? And I think they would rather just do it themselves. <clears throat> but I also wonder if, like, I know that they were very pleased with, like, Fallen Order and stuff like that, but I remember, like, originally when Battlefield came out was getting all that negative press. I remember Disney was not happy because Disney does not like bad press. Oh, yeah. Those game, those Battlefront games sucked. Yeah. Uh, the good. original art still really good. Oh, God, two is amazing. Two, st- oh, two, don't even talk. So All right, okay, let's get to the main event topic here, Willie. Uh, main event topic here, folks. Norrin Reedus has confirmed that Death Stranding sequel has begun. Um, I am so happy. Are you happy? I am delighted. I Death Stranding, folks. What if you could it be? 
if if you didn't know this, folks, if you didn't know this, Death Stranding is one of the greatest video games of all time. God damn it. Um, and and there's nothing you can say that would make me think otherwise. Um, Princess Beach, one of the best characters. I'm trying to figure out how to call that up, really. <laughs> I'm being facetious about that part, but I do think Death Stranding is one of the greatest video games ever made. Um, let me just read you. This is from a uh, article that interviewed Norman Reedus. Uh, they said, okay, so you got your book going on. You've got the final season coming out, then the spinoff, and you're filming Death Stranding, the video game. Norman Reedus says, we just started the second one. Uh, the uh, interviewer asked, how did that come about? Reedus says... Guillermo del Toro, who gave me my first movie, called me up and said, hey, there's this guy named Hideo Kojima. He's going to call you. Just say yes. And I go, what do you mean just say yes? He goes, stop being an asshole. Just say yes. Then I was in San Diego and Hideo came with a big group of people. He's from Tokyo. And he showed me what he was working on, this game called Silent Hills. I was blown away by what he was showing me. And I was like, yeah, let's do this. It's not Mrs. Pac-Man. It's so realistic and futuristic. Um... Anyways, he goes on to say what to a, me... What a deranged thing to say. <laughs> yeah. And he goes on to talk about Death Stranding again. It took me maybe two or three years to finish all the mocap sessions and everything. It takes a lot of work. And then the game came out and it just won all these awards. And it was a huge thing. So we just started part two of that. Folks, part two of Death Stranding, the most epic story ever told. Listen, I'm fragile, but I'm not that fragile, God folks. God damn it. Um, I, I love everything about Death Stranding. I'm literally building the Death Stranding trike right now. Um, well, yes. How many copies did Death Stranding sell? It sold at least one. I bought it. It's true. I also bought it. So at least two. Give me a ballpark guess. Uh, I would say 20 million. Okay. That's an insane number. It sold over 5 million, probably closer to six. Uh, 20 million copies? <laughs> That's like Mario Kart 8 numbers, dude. I mean I I mean I haven't left my house in a while, but I'm pretty sure it revolutionized the world. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure everybody was getting things couriered to them and saying It also predicted the pandemic. Weeks. Yeah, that's what I was <laughs> getting at. Um So this game made fucking money. And you know what Jim Ryan likes? money and diversifying the portfolio of sony and, is a thing that wanting he's a not dog shut the fuck up about. and wanting a dog and, and not wanting rights for his female employees <laughs> uh hey jim ryan fuck off dude thanks um <laughs> no uh but like you know sony bangs on about diversifying their for fucking portfolio all the goddamn time that's why they gave david cage money for years um i hope that whatever the budget was for death stranding uh the first time which i'm sure i mean it was famously like carte blanche do it better Whatever you want, Hideo. Um, I, I hope was good. It was only 150 million, I believe. Okay, so it blew past that in sales. Like, I mean, even even if the game sold at, at half the price, which they didn't, um, I mean, they kid fucking made that money back then, and then some. Um, I hope they're like just take whatever as much as you want here, have it all. Like, I want spectacle. I want more actors that only. K uh, Kojima and art nerds really care about. I want obscure soundtracks and I want dumb yes. bullshit and I don't want it to be a sequel. I want a whole new story. Same actors. I want Norman Reedus in there. I want Maz Mikkelsen in there. I want directors that are friends with Kojima in there. And I want them all playing different characters. Yeah. And I want like, him to build another world from scratch. I wouldn't mind some of the same characters showing up, but I hope. Like, obviously, it's going to be connected to Death Stranding 1 in some sort of way, but I hope it's, like, a different story. Like, not some, like, continuation. Yes. Or if it is a continuation, it's tenuous and you can at least be your own thing. Um, I know there were job listings. I think Nextlander had brought this up when I was listening to their podcast talking about this. Um, that there were some hiring or job postings for... Death Stranding to Kojima Productions for like some writers and some researchers, uh, which to them and to me was a good sign because I think Death Stranding one was a little too much of just Kojima and we need a little more real people writing and not him writing. Look, we, we, we love Kojima here at the famous Chasing Kojima podcast. Um, it's true. 
When's that, Zach, when's that episode, by the way? Zach refuses to do another episode. Um, <laughs> I say that only because I've said we should do another episode, and he said, no, nah, we shouldn't. And uh, now he's going to listen to this and go, you guys are jerks. I never said that. And then he'll be like, do another episode with me. Um, that's thank you. It's our sorry. Yar, do another episode <laughs> with me. <laughs> Yar. And stealing that bit for tomorrow's stream. Thank you. Okay. I run the save data. <laughs> Yar, captain of the save data. Yar. Finest oh. ship in the, the SEOC. We sail um, the seas of Twitch. Yeah, Looking for poop. I seas of Twitch. <laughs> Anyway, tune into our uh, what's <laughs> that pirate game cast. called Skull and Bones. Skull and Bones cast. Oh, I can't wait to have our Skull and Bones clan. <laughs> it's gonna be so great. I still have all my friends from uh... Sea of Thieves. No, no, Sea of Thieves is good. I was trying to think, what's that shitty Bioware game? Anthem. <laughs> Anthem. Yes. It's all of my Anthem clan mates ready for another game. <laughs> ready to hop on the, the high seas. Um, oh. What the fuck are we talking about? Oh, Kojima. Oh, Zach yeah, being an he's idiot. he's best. He's at his best actually when he has people to wrangle him in. Yes. Um, because like that's how you get like MGS one one two and Snake Eater, and then you get like four where they're like, you do whatever you want, Kojima. And he's like, what if I made a movie basically with a little <laughs> with, with some game paste sprinkled in as a treat and a girl um, cooking an egg <laughs> and, and and fart humor and scat humor. Um, Stupid and boom, then. Boom. And then, of course, five is a whole fucking shit show. Also, the research thing, I just want to bring this story up because I fucking love it. The research thing is fucking buck wild. He had a team of people, I believe it was three people, whose entire job it was, was to justify all the nicknames he wanted to give characters. Yeah. They spent months figuring out how, how Shala Shaska Ocelot would make sense because he wanted it. It's a great name. It is, but fuck off for making that someone's <laughs> job. Hey, I, hey, I, I wrote would get this paid dumb to do thing. that. I would too, absolutely. Hey, I wrote this dumb thing. Figure out how it can work. See you in three months. Yeah, but like I, I mean, gameplay. I have no like. Metal Gear Solid Five is one of the best controlling games ever made. Even Death Stranding is very well controlled. Even if you might not like some of those controls, it's it's a well controlled game. Uh, it plays very well. It looks really good. I think his one problem is with the story stuff. And if that was him unwrangled, I would like him to be wrangled back in. Yeah. Um, Death Stranding 2, I'm excited. I still need to play Director's Cut. It'll be on the stupid PlayStation thing, so I'll just play it with that. Even though it's only a $10 upgrade. Um, hope I don't download the PS4 Whatever. version. Whatever dumb bullshit comes out of this game will be good for games in general because whatever Kojima does, people are going to look at. Uh, so that's that's yeah. that's gonna be good. And it also has me curious: like, is his Xbox thing still happening? Is that coming out first, and then Death Stranding Two is coming out? Like, what's the time? I don't actually this? know. Um, I would like to know that. Probably um, gives him more money, which is gonna God, be PlayStation. We're, we're taking forever on this. Um, uh, let's let's go a little bit faster here. This next article, Stalker 2 is reportedly back in development after the Ukraine invasion forced Studio to relocate. Um, that fucking game cannot get a goddamn break. I just want it. I just, I just, I mean, they spelled Chernobyl wrong, but I just want it. Did they really? Uh, no, they didn't. They they write it with an O, which I think is a, just a different spelling of it. But it, every yeah. time I look at it, I think it's spelled wrong. Tr- um, Chernobyl. Chernobyl. Um... Yeah, this was just a report um, because in their Discord community, someone uh, asked if they had re- uh, resumed, and one of the employees said it continues, um, which is like, like, do we care that much? Like, are you uh, that? Make, uh, uh, yeah, seriously, just tell wait me for the war to like, but also wait for the war to end before you like yeah, start posting sure, articles absolutely. about like, oh, are they still working on my video game on so I can video play game? it? Um, just that's yeah, fucking. Also, I don't know. It's kind of like I hope it doesn't come out anytime soon. Also, because like that's poorly toned. There's yeah. a war on. There's a war on, mate. You can't park there. You ever see those videos? I love those so much. Oh. There's this guy who, like drives around England. I don't know if it's the same guy. They all have the same accent. Um, but he like drives. There's like four or five all, of them. They all look the same. They're like car accidents where like the cars flipped over or like on a hedge or something. And he always drives past and goes can't park there mate and the guy whoever's like crashed it just goes i know that 
<laughs> I think awesome. about that every time I drive past like an accident or something. Can't park that, mate. Like, anyway, there's, NF there's NFTs in soccer, too. Uh, no, they took them out. Oh, they took them out? Would you not? Huzzah! Did you not exist? Do you not remember the tales of taking out the no, NFTs? I, no, I remember them talking about the NFTs and meta humans being in the game, and I was yeah. like, that's fucking stupid. And then they said, and whoa, people don't like this shit. We're going to take them out. Oh, it's actually erotic. I love to hear it. Yeah, I'm excited. Um, Stalker, great series. Only put the first game. Great series, though. Uh, next up, Xbox supposedly turned down the Marvel deal, uh, which led to Spider-Man being on the PS4. Uh, this is from Stephen L. Kent's 2021 book, The Ultimate History of Video Games, Volume 2. Um, executive Vice President and Head of Marvel Games, Jay Ong, explains how the company cut its earlier deal with Activision short in search for a better partnership. Um, moving on here. Sorry, I'm reading. Ian usually reads these and then gives me the lowdown. Uh, mm -hmm. They went to both Xbox and PlayStation, uh, asking them, <laughs> we, we don't have a big console deals yet. Anyone uh, want to jump in? And Microsoft apparently wanted to focus on its own IPs and passed. And Sony said, please, for the love of God, we have no games and no one wants anything we do anymore because we suck ass. And they took it. It's uh, a Microsoft fanboy. Folks, Xbox Game Pass. Oh, no, I'm not. I just I, I'm not an Xbox fanboy. I just don't like the PS5 or anything they've been doing with it because it always co it comes across to me so hoity toity and it annoys me. Um, even though the PS5 is great and it's a great console and it's running really well, like, I don't know. They, There's I mean, no games on either of them and I own one yes. of them, so I'm not happy. Yeah, I'm not saying Microsoft's blameless here, um, but at least there's Game Pass. That's, I'll tell you that Game much. Nice. Uh, folks, moving on. Lord of the Rings. Oh, sorry. Raven Software QA votes to become first major video game union in the United States. I believe the vote was, uh, it was like 19 to 1. Uh, and three, I believe. They they shot those three people afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> they took them actually, out. actually, uh, Bobby Cota came down and made them kings. <laughs> he gave them $5 million each. Yeah. And a small fife. Fee uh, fife? Yeah. Fee fife? I think it's fife. Jim. Fife. He played the fife on his fief? Yeah. Fief he, he Actually, he invited them to play FIFA. He was playing FIFA. Um, sorry, FC. Um... Yeah, this is really cool. Uh, I also saw today that Phil Spencer said they would recognize the union when it is officially brought over um, to Microsoft. That's huge. Um, I mean, like, obviously they have to, but that's huge. Yeah. This is really cool. Um, I like, like unions. I don't know much about them, but if they make people get paid and treated equally, um, then do it. And if they have to come break my legs with a pipe... To make me pay my union dues, then I will respect that. Yeah, that's how. Because union dues are like not like a hundred dollars a year, and are definitely like an actual like uh, thing to to trick you. Yeah, so they're trying what, to that's trick what, me. That's what Jeff Bezos told me. Jeffrey, they want to control me. Sorry, we have Jeffrey Bezos on the line. He's going yar. Sorry, Zach was still on the line. That was weird. <laughs> This Can you believe bit. I am? This is just normal will. Um, I need. This so is Ian Gibson here to here to wrangle you. It's like I don't even feel like we're even live. That's fine. Uh oh, sorry. We've got oh, classic joke here. You ready for it? You ready for it? Yeah. yeah we yeah. have T Hink Jib sign uh here in the <laughs> chat. First time, uh, first time caller. Looks like a real fuck. Um, he says, where's the guy that's always wrong? Oh, you must be talking about Ian Gibson. He's not on this episode. Uh, Shin Godzilla sucked. Hey, Ian, uh, 1917's good. You suck. Also, you want to play Foxhole? Yeah, play Foxhole, Ian. Play I'll do a stream. Foxhole. I own it. <laughs> Chris refuses to, to ever stream. With hey, when's save data going to let me on a stream? I feel like all these empty promises are just floating around. <laughs> I did, I did promise you that, huh? Um, I don't oh, know. Actually, not only question. you, several members of Save Data. Yeah, though. no, it's because we definitely like we because we definitely meant it genuinely, <laughs> and then a hundred percent forgot about it. No, um, I actually don't care. I'm so busy. <laughs> I would probably say no anyways. To be honest, 
I'll get you on the Summer Spectacular. Yeah, let me on that so I can ruin it. Ian and I are the only true voices in gaming. We we might play Dread Hunger. <laughs> <gasps> oh, you bitches! I'll dress up for Dread Hunger. Ooh, yar! Daddy's hungry for Dread Hunger. Oh, now I know why Zach likes that game so much. It's like 1800s pirate. It's cold pirates. It reminds him of his youth. <laughs> it was youth. Cold. Yeah, sailors are just cold pirates. No, Arctic explorers, Arctic explorers are just cold, are just cold pirates. pirates. Uh, uh, Ian... Does that mean the guys who mapped out the lakes in Africa are just racist pirates? <laughs> yeah, I mean, the racist part was a given. Uh, folks, Lord of the Rings Golem's coming out in September. Uh, are you excited for this game? No, not at all. I like the dev. I don't like this game. Yeah, it looks okay. Uh, call- hey, Chris. Did you know, I, I don't know why this is a news story, because this news story says Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 is coming out October 28th, but I know for a fact that Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 came out November 11th, 2009. Um, so Wait, I'm, what is this link? It I'm, goes to a dead, a dead link. This is your website, motherfucker. I don't own it. Oh, it is a dead link. Um... Who put this? Oh, maybe I put this link here before it got changed. Um, Wait, anyways, I can play a game on GameSpot's dead websites. So, oh yeah, they do have that roguelike thing. I really like that. Uh, this is only funny to like two people, uh, but Call of Duty Modern Warfare Two, the sequel to Call of Duty Modern Warfare, uh, is coming out this year, uh, and they named it after a game that already came out thirteen years ago. Yeah, that's like. Look, I know Call of Duty is way past the, the horse at this point, but, like, what the fuck? You didn't you can't, have you to can't, do it. You can't literally keep making the same games over again. Like, we are, people already make that joke about your games in general. You can't, you can't just do it like this. What the fuck? It's wild to me. It's, I don't know. Like, I, okay. Call Maybe of Duty Modern else. Warfare. Call of Duty Modern Warfare, I got. It wasn't Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. I was like, you can get, you can get away with it. But I don't know why you can get away with naming. This is ruining databases. You ruin databases, Activision. It... Yeah, because like God of War, now all of them have to have a fucking parenthetic after oh, it with a date in it. That's the one's the worst. Because as someone who has to like look up like behind the scenes stuff to see if I can find mm-hmm. like mocap and everything, just searching God of War and then you got to put the 2018 on it and then you got to. Oh, it's. It's so stupid. Uh, speaking of God of War, though, Chris, fantastic segue into the fact that uh, there's a couple God of War news here, which is uh, Sony confirmed that there is a God of War TV show in development at Amazon. There's also a Horizon TV series in development with Netflix, and then there is a, a Gran Turismo TV series in development, and they that have not yet wild found... To me a partner for it yet Gran Turismo um I feel like like I wonder if by tv show if they mean like a documentary tv show or if it's going to be like a tv show tv show about like race car drivers I thought that's what I thought originally and then I was like maybe they're trying to do like a sports league kind of thing like a limited like we're gonna do like a 10 episode big big race yeah or I could see like a like a I've never seen them, but those like 30 for, not 30 for 30. What is it? Uh, what's those ESPN documentaries? ESPN, ESPN. Is it 30? Not 30 for 30? Is it 30 for 30? Is, is that a 60? Or is it 60 for 30? I think it's 30 70? for 30. Yeah, I think yeah, 30 for 30. 30, 30. Oh. When I said 30 for 30, I was thinking of 30 people under 30, which is the oh, Time uh, Magazine thing, right? The, that's Forbes. Forbes 30 for 30. Media, yes, media Forbes. Luminary. I want that desperately. I'm on it every issue, and it's just so annoying, you know? I get all these fielded, all these business calls. What? Hey, business boy. Business calls. <laughs> I hate... Well, I just I'm wanna, a little business boy. <laughs> I hate doing this podcast with you because it just delves into us talking. Uh, see, with <laughs> Ian, did, there's a mutual... We did this for two and a half years. We just sat next to it and shot the shit for eight hours. It's the same fucking thing. <laughs> with Ian, there's a mutual hatred. Uh... <laughs> And I think it's more like, mutual like, like on my old side. Lovers, because <laughs> um, he has the worst opinions ever, and I hate him. Uh, and he's also a complete and utter asshole. Uh, but with you, you're at least friendly, and we can get along. 
you know, uh, and you don't constantly today, hate on me. <laughs> what messed me today when he said Ian wasn't going to be here? I was like, can you get anybody? I was like, um, not really. And then he's like, it's fine. We'll just shit on Ian. And then here we are, folks. Uh, I don't get many opportunities because <laughs> he's a louder person. <laughs> Yeah, that's, uh, that's anyways, fair. further God of War news. Uh, Ragnarok, the next God of War game, God of War 5, uh, has been rated by the Korean ratings board, which uh, are making some people believe that it will be out soon, uh, possibly this year. Uh, that'd be exciting. You I like God of that. War. Uh, it was fun to play through once, uh, and I'll probably never play through it again. But I'll play God of War 2, 4, 2, Ragnarok. What a uh, warfare. Modern Warfare. God of, God of Warfare. <gasps> Ooh, tie Christopher. In. Hello, U.S. Patent and Trademarks Office. Yes, <laughs> I'll hold. I'd like to sue. I'd like you're, to sue. you're who I call, right? Yeah. Hi, is Sue there? I've got Sorry, a case for her. I just saw this her. thing at the bottom of the document that I didn't notice before. Uh, very excited. Oh, for the variety game score? You want to screw the rest of the news and just do this? Yeah, there's only one more article. Fuck it. Who cares? Yeah, I it's don't want cloud it. streaming. No one cares. Um, let me just I I didn't put this image into the um Oh, image options. I didn't put this image into the uh sort of thing here. So now I've got a I don't know how to How do I make the OBS see the image? That's going to be You could do it hard. as a browser source or you could do it as a just a media source. Yeah, that's true. Can I paste this onto my desktop? No. Can I do that? No. Okay, folks, you're going to see this image. Anyways, I found this cool image that is basically... Um, you kind of check off all the uh, all the games you've done. So let me just <clears throat> pop this in here for y'all. <clears throat> um, can I open this image? Are we doing this here? jointly or separately? I figured we would do it jointly and see how far we can get. Alright. I think that would be what uh, people call fun. What <laughs> you humans call fun. Okay, how do I uh, have to interact with this, don't I? <laughs> I have to scroll it <laughs> for everyone to see at home. Oh, this is the worst That's thing fun. I've ever That's done. That's a fun thing for you to do. Let me just oh oh we've what have we done? What have we done? Let me do this. This is gonna be even better. I don't understand why I can't just download this image. Riveting uh audio content for people here. What do you mean you can't mm. download the image? I don't know. I can't download the image. How do I get it out of this? I'm just gonna do that. Send it to you. Save image. Save it as unknown image. Ooh, oh, that already exists. The mystery. So I'm going to save it as keyboard nonsense image. Uh, folks, this is a long preamble to show you that we are, in fact, doing a checklist of all these different game series. We're going to we get gotta, 100. <laughs> we're going to get 100, but I didn't read through it, so you're cheating. But we're going to okay, read through fine. it here and see what we've got. Okay, this is, what is your variety gamer score, blank out of 100? Which of these video game series did you play at least one game of? And I'm going to say, uh, like, finished the game. Okay, that'll be problematic for some of these, but okay, we'll get to it. Okay, we'll get to it. Mario Bros. Have you finished a Mario Bros. game? Yes. Okay, that's a one for out of 100. Legend of Zelda. Have you finished a Legend of Zelda game? Never heard of it. Well, good thing I've played a Legend of Zelda game. <laughs> yeah, Two I, out I of think I've beaten every single one of them. Wow, the every one. single one? Except for, uh, oh no, sorry, I haven't pl played, I didn't play one of the Capcom ones, whichever one the last one was, Spirit Tracks, I think. And uh, I didn't play fucking Wanda Gamble on any other one. CDI? This CDI ones, yeah, yeah. I mean, I those don't those. fucking count, though. Uh, they're Zelda games. Shut up. Who knew when pressed? Chris is a liar. Um... <laughs> Pokemon, have you? Be I've, I've, Chris, I got yeah, you covered, Will, boy. Will Crosby's play Pokemon, folks. I got you covered. Uh, the Elder Scrolls. You skipped Warcraft. Oh, Warcraft. Yes, three. I mean, does World of what? Warcraft count? That counts, sir. 
I played a lot of it. I played um, a fuck ton of Warcraft Three. That's for damn sure. Elder Scrolls. Uh, only beaten Morrowind and Skyrim. Really? I've only beaten. Sorry, a... I'm an idiot. I forgot. I forgot Oblivion existed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I was gonna say I only beaten Oblivion and Skyrim. I've never beaten Morrowind. I like Morrowind. I didn't. I liked Oblivion. Okay, didn't care for Skyrim. I love Oblivion so much. I love Morrowind a lot. I have never played it as an adult. Uh, I need to do that. I played it a lot as a kid, and I just murdered everyone. Yes. Um, Fallout. Sorry. Yes, Fallout. I beat Fallout three and four. Three, four, New Vegas two. Oh yes, New Vegas. Uh, not two. I I haven't played the originals. I, I've wanted two's two. great. Haven't played one. Uh, two's really fucking good. I should play that. Uh, Doom. I I played every Doom game. I have beaten every Doom. Oh, I didn't play Eternal. Except Eternal. Yeah, it's the only same. one I haven't beaten. I played all of them, but I played. I made a ha- I made a choice to play every Doom game during the pandemic, and I did it. I played every one. I didn't beat Eternal though. I beat every other one though. And I did it, Mom. I did it, Mom. Okay, Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, sadly yes. That every, one was for Ian, every, but he's not here. Everything but the but the fucking phone games. Wasted time. Tuesday. <laughs> Wasted time. Um, Crash Bandicoot. Uh, I have played a single Crash Bandicoot. I don't know that I beat it. I was a kid. I have the Insanity Collection by One Vicarious Visions, uh, mm-hmm. who no longer exists, and I have played a couple levels. So not beaten. I probably beat it. Let's check it. Let's check. When I was a kid, I beat games. Sorry, I don't even know where we're at now. We're at one, two. We're at all of them. Oh yeah. We'll just probably it's probably easier just to remember the ones we didn't get. Well, there's 25 in a row. So if we get to the end of this column and haven't lost anywhere, 25. Okay. Uh, Donkey Kong. I have. You know, I don't think I've ever beaten a Donkey Kong game. Really? I've Uh, played them. (laughs) Donkey Kong 64 is the first time I remember not enjoying a video game. Oh, <laughs> that, is a, that, is a, that is a key memory in my brain. I did beat it, though. I oh, beat God. Donkey Kong Country as well. and Country yeah, 2 so. is the one I played the most. What if we had Country 2? Country, Country 2 is great. 64, though. And Diddy Kong <laughs> Racing! Great I guess game. that counts, yeah. Um, yeah okay. Not? Tekken. Never touched it. <laughs> uh, yes, I've played a lot of Tekken. <laughs> Good God. Borderlands, I've beaten one and two. Only beaten two. God, those games suck. The Sims, Chris. I've I just would beat The Sims. Uh I've I've played a lot of The Sims. I don't know which version I played a lot of the Sims of. Uh Do you want... whichever Go ahead. Uh you talk. Okay. Uh played a lot of the Sims. I don't know which one it was. Uh it was whichever one. Where you start as a character and you live in your mom's house and you have to move out. That was the one I played a lot of as a kid. And then I played this, the most recent The Sims, which I guess is four, uh, when it came out, and then didn't care for it too much. Did spend money on it though, so that's unfortunate. Chris, would you like to see the Sims game I played the most? Yes. Sorry, would you like to see the only Sims game I have played, and also the Sims game I played the most? I want it to be Sim Golf. It's not going to be. Uh, is it Sim City? It's my Sims for the what DS, the Chris. What the fuck is this? What what <laughs> hell have you... What is that in the back? Is that a fucking Dance Dance Revolution? Oh, this game is really fun, and I remember being confused. What a and... utopia. Yeah, it's... It's weird. It's my only Sims game, though, I've ever played. As right, someone who I've really likes Sim, Sim games. I've played um, Sims as games this. Okay, so we're still we're still doing good. Uh, Dead Space, I've beaten two of them. Third one, I stopped. Be, beat one, two, and three. I regret finishing three because it's not that good. Oof. The uh, animated movie is pretty good. I really fucking like Dead Space. I wish three wasn't such an action shooter, which is more of a horror game. Yeah. Uh, Animal Crossing, I have beaten. Yeah, New Leaf and then Horizons. Yeah, New Leaf Horizons, the DS, first DS one. Wait, fuck, is that on New Leaf? Uh, no, there was the the one before New Leaf. Oh, then whatever that one is is the one I play. I could get up and get it again, but I don't want to. Um, 
man, this is taking long enough. Okay, Fable, yes. Yep. Contra. I have never beaten a Contra. Beat Contra, one. Wow. Team Fortress. I mean, I, I play that show with TF2. I, I don't I play hacks. a little bit of it. I've never touched Punch Out. Really? Uh, I, I've i done, like, I played Punch Out. Um, I played the Wii Punch Out as well, which is not the great. Um, and then I also did the thing where you get the world record for beating Glass Joe, which, and you could do this right now if you wanted to. Ooh. Uh, I have. Uh, I have played the Saints Row. I've never beaten a Saints Row. Uh, I adore two. I beat the hell out of two. Think I beat three. Didn't even play four. I can't remember the one I played at my friend's house growing up. I never played one, one. Weirdly enough, I came in the series of two, which is the best one. Um, sorry, I was panicking because uh, Twitch told me we weren't live anymore, but we are live. Yeah, God, was confusing. God, are you, you there? We're live on my end. We're live on my end. Yeah. Um, Jack and Daxter, I have never played. One of the ones I'm looking forward to for that PlayStation Plus mm. subscription. I own the bundle on PlayStation. I played all I played all of them as a kid. I actually like them more than like Ratchet and Clank. Uh, I, if I ever speed run a game, it's going to be uh, Precursor Legacy. Really? Yeah. My best, my best time in it is like four and a half hours. Wow. Um, like an hour this next one, Chris has played Guilty Gear. Yeah, maybe if any, anyone else that you know, if you, anyone else that you know wouldn't even get this one. I, I am, I'm carrying this 100%. I think you're the only person I know. Um, Starcraft, I have played Starcraft, as has Chris. Too. Nier, I didn't beat Automata, but I, well, I beat several of the endings. I didn't beat yeah. all the endings. Warhammer. Um, yes. Vermintide. Dawn of War and Dawn of War 2 and Soulstorm. And Space Marine. And Space Marine. God, fuck Space Marine so fucking good. I need to play that. Um, Final Fantasy. Y- yes. <laughs> I've never. Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, I nine, guess 14 ten, might 12, count. 13. Uh, Pikmin. Uh, I've never yes. touched a Pikmin. Really? Yeah, they're too you, young. Nintendo has a big blind spot for you. Uh, <laughs> Your Honor. <laughs> Your, Honor. Your Honor. He had freely admitted to touching Pikmin. Uh, Tales new, huh? of period. <laughs> I've only played Symphonia. Carrying this. Wow, list. carrying this of mana. Uh, I played the remake of Trials of Mana that came out last year. Wow, didn't, didn't think it was that good, folks. Oof. Uh, this one I've never heard of. Metal Gear. Do you know what that one is? <laughs> uh, oh, Mattel. They make uh, action figures. <laughs> <laughs> Metal Gear. Of course, we played Metal Gear. God yeah, of War. Yes. Chris, yep. you'd be surprised, and Ian wouldn't be, that I've never played the Tetris game. How? How, how um, have you not played a Tetris game? Same reaction as Ian, but you probably won't be as confused by it. Um, I have played Tetris before, but I have never sat down and played a Tetris game. Like, I've played Tetris when it's in other games, or, like, there's oh, a Tetris okay, mini sure, game, sure, 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 or sure. there's a game based off of Tetris. I've never plugged in Tetris and played Tetris. For some reason, Ian couldn't understand that. Um, it was the only game my first two phones had, so I played a lot That's pretty good. A lot of Tetris. Um, Red Dead Redemption, i played both Your- of them. Street Fighter, Chris has probably Your- played those. Chrono series, I've played most of the first game. Oh, I counted, and I've played one, and unfortunately, Cross. Oof. Ratchet and Clank, I beat You're, the new one. All of them besides the PS Vita one. Call of Duty, I played most of them. Uh, Age of Empires, I played two, two a lot. Good mythology, yeah. actually. Actually, no, I played well. one a lot. Uh, a lot Need for Speed, Underground? No, Most Wanted is the one I played as a kid. Uh, which, which I, one of the PS2 ones, I honestly don't even know which. The one with the cops in it. I'm not a co-op. Um, sorry, I lost my place. Uh, so far we're doing great. Harvest Moon never touched a Harvest Moon. Chris, Not, it wasn't until recently, but I, I did, I did play one. Yeah, congratulations, Prince of Persia. I have never played a Prince of Persia game. Chris, you should be happy. I'm here. Let's go. Just kidding. I've never played a Prince of Persia game. Ooh. <laughs> oh, we're one down. Folks. We're one Fate down, gamers. folks. We're one down. Max Payne. Played a couple of them, yeah. Nope. 
Ninja Gaiden. Uh, black, yes. Wow. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Persona. Uh, four and five. Of course. Uh, Bayonetta. Both. <laughs> Neither. Medal of Honor. Rising Sun. Boy! Uh, behind Enemy Lines. Is that the one? You're, that one? I think so. Yeah. I, I, was it Call of Duty Big Red one? That's the other one I was thinking of. Call yeah, of Rising Sun. Big Red I played one, a lot. Yeah. Um, sorry, Dead or Alive. I played the beach, beach volleyball, volleyball one. Oh, I <laughs> yeah, played both the, fight, the fighting game and beach volleyball. Um, Deus Ex, uh, Mankind Divided, Human Revolution, two of my favorite games of all time. Uh, the original I've heard is very good. I just haven't played it yet. Please don't yell at me. Dragon Guard. This one's bullshit. How they put near and Drakengar on here? That's fucking horseshit. That's the same franchise. No, nobody's played this. Nobody, nobody's fucking played Drakengar. That's two down, Chris. Yeah. Breath of Fire. I did play. I very much did not like it. And did not complete it. Okay. Oh, <clears throat> this next one that might be the end of us, Chris. Dragon Quest. <laughs> Uh, folks. Oh, I should I should have talked about Dragon Quest Rocket Slime during uh, the games we've been playing. Oh fuck! Thank you for not doing it, uh, <laughs> folks. Great. Dragon Quest Seven: Journey of the Cursed King, one of the greatest Eight. games I've ever played in my life. Eight, sorry, I, I was think it's seven. So bad. It's so good. It was so good. It took me sixty hours. I loved every second of it. Oh. I have been meaning to start Eleven. Um, Vic loves Eleven. She's playing right now again. From playing it in bed right now. I want to play it. Dragon Quest Builders also super fun. Um, two. You, hey, I, try Rocket Slime out. You might like it. You got a DS. That's true. I could just put it on there through the magic of purchasing. <laughs> of purchasing using the DS eShop that is definitely still available. Yes, Your Honor. I just I put money in an envelope and I write Japan on it and I write Nintendo. <laughs> I write I write I, I just draw Shigeru Miyamoto vaguely. Yeah, <laughs> and I and I it put happens. a bunch of, of stuff in it. Um, God, now I want to play Dragon Quest Eleven. Uh, Halo, I have played, and I assume you all also have played yes, Halo. I've, I've I've dabbled in the Halo. Uh, GTA, four five. Uh, I've never played five. Just uh, Vice City three, four, uh, San Andreas oh, is pretty good. Um, Assassin's Creed. Oh, sorry, Diablo three nice. and two one. I've beaten two. I've never beaten. I played a tiny bit of it. One was uh, it before I was really playing PC games. Assassin's Creed. A lot of them. Yeah. One, all two, the, all, three, all, four. All. I think that's it. One, two. All the spin offs for two, three. Or, I think that's it. I play a lot of Origin. I I've never played. I I got off it at the worst time because I I got off it for like Unity and shit, and then didn't get back on when it got good with Origin and fucking Odyssey. I need to get back to this. Yeah. Uh, I have I have Valhalla. It's okay. It's just like it's one of those games that if the world blew up and I could still play video games, then I would play it. Mm. Um. Uh. Sorry, Metroid. Yeah. Yeah. I have never beaten a Metroid, but I have played a Metroid. Uh, Beat Super is one of the greatest games ever. Uh, Prime 1, 2, and 3. Uh, and, of course, the, the hit game, Other M. <laughs> the hit game. The, uh, the baby. Bioshock. I have beaten all of them. Yeah, yeah all three of them. Mass hate, Effect? Hate, hate Infinite. Uh, Infinite's Mass great. Effect. No, the fucking first hour is amazing. The rest game is not that good. Um... Great. Mass Effect 1, 2, 3. Yes, sir. Andromeda not play is Andromeda. Best. No, I did not play Andromeda. I, I don't know a single two. human being who played Andromeda. Um, Star Fox, I played uh, the SNES one a lot. Uh, 1, 2, 64, and of course, Star Fox Adventure, baby. Uh, I want to play the original. You would, you would love 60, uh, Adventure. It fucking sucks. <laughs> I should play Adventure. I want to play the dinosaur rare game that it was based off of. Dinosaur never Planet? Came out. Yeah, you can play it. You can download oh, it. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, it's out there. Um, The Last of Us, I've played... I beat one. I have not finished two. I beat one, um, never touched two. Yeah, it's okay. Fire Emblem, Chris. Oh my god, I have... I've, be, I've barely beaten one of them, yes. 
Damn, I've never touched a Fire Emblem. I, I beat Awakening, and I, I the franchise I'm not a fan of. Sorry, Jason. Um, Far Cry, uh, I've beaten every Far Cry except for 1 and 6. Uh, I've beaten every Far Cry except for 5 and 6. 5 sucks. 6, I... He what about the Wii? Fun of me what about the Wii? You, no, none of us played the Wii Far Cry game. The oh, is it like a little one? Yes. It's like a, a Wii, Wii Far Cry. A Wii game. little Far Cry. A Wii Far Cry. <laughs> that was a great joke. No one is still listening to this. That's fine. Um, we should have ended hours now. ago. Um, oh, no. <clears throat> next up here, folks, Resident Evil. I like Resident Evil. I played every Resident Evil game. Well, I haven't played eight. I haven't played three, and I haven't played four. I like three. Four? Re- <laughs> hey, I tried. You play four. <laughs> I've tried. I don't like it. What? Yeah. I'm waiting for the remake. Yeah, my well um, it's, it's the controls. I just don't like. Uh, I played original one, remake mm-hmm. one, remake, remake two. Haven't touched three. Um, or remake three. Five's great. Uh, Six, I, like I haven't touched. Seven's great. Eight is great. Moving on. Tony Hawk Pro. Yes. Yes. Here I am. Gran Turismo. No. No. Damn, that is that two down now? Three. What was the other one? Drakengard. Sorry, Drakengard, Prince of Persia, and uh, uh Gran Turismo. Yeah, Prince of Persia. Dang. Um, Rayman, yes, yes, rave, raving rabbits. Unfortunately, Castle Fucking Vania, yes, Symphony yeah. of the Night, yeah. fantastic video game. I have played one, two, and three several times. I have not beaten them though, so they don't count. Um, Soul Calibur, surprisingly, that's a yes for me, dog. Mm, nice. I mean, yes to me as well. Um, S, what is SMT? Shin Megami Tensei, another one that is bullshit. That Persona's Persona. on here as well. Uh, which, like, te- technically speaking, I could argue Persona 3 and 4 both have, still have the SMT headline. So they are SMT games. Fuck off. But also I play SMT 3. Okay. Yakuza 6. Fuck off. Or sorry, Yakuza 0. Greatest game ever made. One of the played greatest every, games ever I've played every Yakuza game. Uh, oh, I haven't played Dead Souls. Um, I, played Dead Souls. I have played Command and Conquer. Yeah, um, alert. Saga? I've never touched a Saga game. What is that? That's like a Japanese RPG, isn't it? Yes. No, I ain't touched the shit. There's our fourth one, folks. So down, down, downhill of us all. Total War. These? Yes, uh, Total War Hammer. Total Medieval Total War. And Rome Total War. Uh, Fantasy Star. Uh, PSO 2 I played. Dang. Uh, Parasite Eve. I've always wanted to. Haven't actually played it. Me too. It's also kind of a bullshit one to put on this because it's one game, but okay, sure. Yeah. Not really. Not really. Uh, uh Mortal Kombat, Chris. Uh, never heard of it. Unfamiliar. Sounds kind of shit to me. Yeah, I played every fucking Mortal Kombat game, basically. Mega Man, Christopher. Yes. Oh yeah, Mega Man oh, X. X Zero, Battle Network. Best Mega Man. Uncharted, yes. Uh, no. Wow. Good thing I've I'm here. Never played an Uncharted game. Tomb Raider. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I uh, Tomb Raider the reboot, one of the only games I've 100 percented. Really interesting. Absolutely 100 percented it. Uh, I think I played more of Tomb Raider when I was a kid than when I did the remakes. And I actually liked the re- I liked the first remake quite a bit. Didn't play a ton of the second one. Yeah, the second one was okay. I didn't touch the third. The first remake, incredible. Uh, Portal, yes, I'm assuming from yeah. both of us. One uh, Sonic the Hedgehog. Chris, have you played a Sonic the Hedgehog game? Oh, unfortunately, well, I've played quite a few of the, the Hedgehog. Oh, I'm so sorry. You have you have faced down the Hedgehog, yes. as they say. Uh, the Witcher, I have I've beaten one. Uh, I started two and started three. Didn't complete either of them. Whew, good thing I'm here. I don't like Geralt. Uh, one is a great game. Two sucks. Three, I can't. I can't. I can't penetrate it. Mm. Maybe this, uh, the remaster, Half Life. Yes. Yes. 
<laughs> every 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 scrap of it. I haven't played. I haven't. We started playing one together. Oh yeah, uh, we should finish that. Yeah, um, I still have those easily. edited files somewhere. Spiral the Dragon, Chris. Played one of them on PS2. Could tell you which. Nice. Dark Souls. Yes. Well, not all of them. Hate three. <laughs> Classic. I'm uh, already on that. I know. Uh, Devil May Cry. Uh, three and four. And Silent two, Hill. And, and yeah. One, two, three. Hitman. Homecoming, unfortunately. Uh, you, yes. Tons of Hitman. Yeah. Both Dragon those. Age. God, yeah. I played two. It sucks ass. Gears of War. Yes. B- Banjo Kazooie. Yes. Nuts and Bolt, motherfucker. Counter Strike. Uh, what? <laughs> yeah, I beat Counter Strike. Worms. <laughs> Worms. Worm. I'm sorry. The again. the beating part is I added. The original doesn't have the beating part. You just had to oh, play the game. Oh, okay, okay. I thought this was stupid. <laughs> no, that's me variety. being stupid. What is Shadow Hearts? What the fuck is Shadow Hearts? These Shadow Hearts that I offer, feast on them. <laughs> Shadow Heart series. What is? Th- oh, this looks terrible. We should play it. <laughs> Man, screw me no. going on save data streams. Let's have Chris on all our streams. Yeah, I'll show up. These look. These are nothing. Um, who developer by Scanoff? <laughs> what? Yeah, you know Scanoff. Who? <laughs> who the fuck? What? I I have not heard of any game these guys have ever fucking made. Who? Okay, whoever made this is a, is a huge fucking. Shadow, whatever the fuck, fan. Shadow Hearts fan. All right. Oh, okay. Six down. Uh, Bomberman. Yes. I play, I play Bomberman. Monster Hunter. Yes. Yeah. World. World baby. Although I, I, I tried the durations, didn't care. For I don't it. think I finished it. Um, oh, I Shenmue. Tried everything. I've wanted to play through Shenmue. I have I played through Shenmue one and two. They suck. They're bad Chris, games. I, Chris, what if we played through three? I have three. Oh my god. I own it. But then I have to like remember what happened in one and two. It's no, but the best part is you don't, because we can just make it up. But Will, here's the fun thing. Shenmue 3 doesn't finish the series. I know, that's the fun part, Chris. None of what we remember <laughs> or don't remember doesn't matter. Don't spill Fuck your Shenmue. soup. <laughs> it's almost empty. You can't your spill gyoza it. soup. Watch dogs. <laughs> I played Watch Dogs 1, it fucking sucks. Yeah, it sucks. Um, Dishonored? Both. Both. Uh, one. And Wild Arms. <laughs> there, just played it. Um, oh! I know of Wild Arms. I have not completed Wild Arms. Is that Cowboy I've heard RPG? Of Wild Arms. It's that um, Cowboy RPG. Folks, 93 out of 100. I think that's a pretty good score. Yeah, considering some of these are bullshit. Bull Fucking Guilty Gear's on it. <laughs> I want to get the fuck out of here because it's 1025 and I would like to go read my book in bed and make love to the sheets um, and clip my face into the wall. No, keep going. Come on. You got the song to finish out, asshole. What else do you want to do? How is your soup not cold? It's like lukewarm. Luke! Luke! <laughs> All right, Uncle Luke. Luke! Have you seen Luke? I thought he was going to Tasha Station. Or Emperor kind of guy. Uh, oh, man, I'd slam that blue milk bitch <laughs> into the wall. <laughs> <laughs> folks, thank you so much That's for tuning story. into the show. Uh, folks, if you made it this far into the show and you're still listening and you... Halucha, this one's for you. Yeah. Yeah, Halucha does not listen to these. But Halucha, if you are, these. The, uh, I don't know. If you've made it this far, folks, and either the podcast or the video version, please come to the uh, Subpixel Discord server. Use code uh, Will is so cute, and I will buy you any game on Steam as long as it it is under sixty dollars. Uh, do it. That's a great deal. What the fuck? That's a great deal. The only person it doesn't apply to is Chris and Ian. Uh, so please do that. 
Oh, you can find all of our content at subpixelfilms.com. Folks, uh, there will be no Sunday service this weekend, uh, but their uh, Ian will stream something. Chris, where can people find you on the internet? Twitch.tv slash streaming our way. We just an affiliate. It's me and Vic. We play video games. Nice. Go check them out, folks, and we will see you all next week.